Art is the expression of self. It is inspiration. It can be every day, it can be totally random. Anything that expresses yourself. My name is Michael Kelly and I'm a master barber. Walk shop. This is the barbershop, the one and only. Crushing all these ponies in the clubs, they my homie. In the street, they don't know me. They cowards. Trying to live a lifestyle that's ours. For the people who live hip hop, hour after hour. Minute by minute, as the second tick, I'm wrecking shit. Put it in writing so my seeds can inherit it. The fakes keep fearing it. People keep hearing it. Barbershop and seeds, freestyling over instruments. Walk a blunt, then an instant. Fix it. Coming in with freestyle designs is kind of like, obviously it's imagination, you know, you, you tap into some kind of idea in your head and you just run with it. Nerve-wracking idea at first, when you first start doing it, but then I think the way you come up with it is you, like for me, I'll be sitting down, I could even be at church, man, don't tell my pastor, but I could be at a church, <laughs> sitting there, all of a sudden I'll have this crazy design in my head and I'll just like, you know, come up with it and I'll just grab a pen and I'll just doodle it and I'll look and I'll go, that might work. That could go on hair. That, that looks great. You know, you can even add a little something to that, you know? No. And he was like, yeah, that, that is pretty cool. So things like that you come up with all the time and they, they store in your brain. So a lot of times someone say, hey, give me a freestyle and you have nothing drawn out. But also you just bust it out in their hair and they freak out because they're like, how'd you do that? And you're like, yeah, I mean, it's always been in my head. I just kind of pulled it out of the file and just put it on your head. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. How did you become a barber? I became a barber when I was around 16 years old. I think I took interest in the, <laughs> the movie The Barbershop. I just thought some of the haircuts in the intro of the movie were just real fascinating and I was like, I want to do that. So I kind of just took it from there, bought some clippers and boom. What makes you different than other barbers? I care probably more about bar like my client's hair than I do. <laughs> and. Um, which I think a lot of barbers maybe act that way or try to act that way, but I, I truly do. You know, more than that, I care about them as a person. You know, um, barbers are mentors, they're advice givers, they're listeners, they're everything. They have to be very sensitive to people, not just with their hair, but with who they are as a human being. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of times, you know, you look at a client in your chair and they'll open up about personal stuff in their life where you need to know, you know, do I give advice here? Do I stay quiet here? Do I just do I just listen? You know. Right. So uh, it's more than just cutting hair, man. That's what separates me. I think. I think that art has been lost. The art of just being there. I'm from New York originally. I learned how to cut hair up there when I was 19. I had just got my New York barber license, so I was super energetic, super ready. Imagine like someone giving you permission to do what you've always wanted to do, and then all of a sudden you get to El Paso, Texas. The rules have changed. I couldn't transfer my New York license to Texas without going back to school. I'm not going to go back to school and then pay the school money again just so I can get a Texas license, right. you know? And, you know, the arrogant side of me as a young man was, well, I have the skills. I, I could cut better than most people in El Paso. So, of course, I was like, I'm not going to do that. You know, I'm just going to cut hair at home. So, of course, you know, being the new guy, no one knew who I was. So, for a year or two, cutting friends family, whatever, at home, in my house, you know, low-key out on Horizon, out of my mom's kitchen. So that's how I started, man. It was a humbling experience. I had to work horrible jobs. And then uh, eventually Texas changed their law. And they said, hey, X amount of dollars, and we'll give you, you know, a license. So because that happened, uh -huh. that's that was that huge obstacle that, that allowed me. That patience and, and frustration all paid off because... You know, finally it was like a breakthrough. I was like, okay, I, now I can get on. And that's when I started cutting hair in El Paso legitimately at a barbershop. That, that's how you know you, you do what you love because I can't imagine myself doing anything else but what I'm doing. Um, I'm not a rich dude. I'm not, I don't have lots of money. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not big baller. But it doesn't matter. I'm happy with what I do. I like what I do. It's It works for me and, and it makes me happy. It fulfills me at the end of the day. So... I'm just glad that God blessed me with the job that I can get up in the morning and be like, yeah, this is not work, this is fun. I'm, I'm having fun today. You can contact me through Instagram, Michael Kelly on Instagram, or more than a barber eight on Instagram. 
uh, or you can text my phone, 915-525-5640. Text me, hey, my name is blah, blah, I would like an appointment. Easy said.